What is up guys, it's me. Uh, yeah, I figured I would give you a bit of a room tour and show you what things are like here in the studio. Right here's my recording area. There's the, uh, the chair I sit in. My microphone. I'm not entirely sure the specs on it. There's my soundboard, my headphones. I think the... I think something fell out in there, maybe. There's my soundboard. Got all the... Gotta keep screwing with the settings. Right, there's the monitor I use. It's a... 10 year old... Vizio. Right there, that's the camera I use. It's awfully dusty. I didn't clean up for you guys, I figured I, I want to show you exactly what life is like for me and how I live my everyday life. Right there's an incense burner that my grandmother gave me. There's some dice for playing D&D. &D. The crumbs on my desk are from when I punched my pizza and it went everywhere. I use a Xbox 360 controller if I'm ever playing any games. I've got my extra set of glasses there. Some candles. This lighter. And of course, my... Come on. My Cold Steel Espada XL that I keep on my desk at all times. Also right above my desk is my machete rack. Now this here is not a machete, it is... I believe it's Anduril, a replica from Lord of the Rings. But I have, it's my machete, part of my machete collection I've been building over the years. Most of them have seen action. This one, this was the cold, the original uh, katana machete. I cut the handle off. I tried to do what we, we all juggle knives did. I never really got around. The ergonomics of this handle are very bad. Very, very bad ergonomics on that. But I like the design. This one's my personal favorite here, the cutlass, the cold steel cutlass machete. I put a little bit of tape to to let it um, to make it stick in the sheath a little bit better, and I wrapped the handle with some with some hockey tape. Um, if I were to carry one of these, it would be it would be this one. It's it's my personal favorite. Uh, I, I I'm not gonna go. I'll I'll do an in depth machete. Uh, video at another date. If we turn around right here, I'll shut this light off. I have a light there that I use to backlight my green screen because if I don't then it's uh, it's too dark. Of course this light I, I think is a bit too bright but it's what I got. In the corner, make sure you always stay strapped. I got my Mossberg Maverick ready to go, ready for action. Um, I've also got a box of spent shells, uh, just in case I ever decide to get into reloading. Uh, here's my other monitor. Oh, hold on a sec. Might be even worse. And there I got my circle light that I use. I got orange and white to try to balance out the uh, the color there. Let's see if I can get this to turn down a little. There we go. Got a hat there. May, might be a fire hazard, might not be. These, I'll show you more of these. These are like my signature hat that I've taken a liking to. 
right here is my second monitor. Uh, I use that for playing PlayStation and oh geez, sorry guys, having some indigestion from my iced coffee here. Ugh. Um, I have this nice lamp here that my aunt made me. It's a lamp. Got a flashlight, extra flashlight in case you know you can't see. A few knives lying around. A uh, few mags loaded, ready to go. Just in case you never, you know, you never know. A brush that I rarely use. Uh, speed loader to, to help load those mags a little better. Some ammo. 9mm, luckily I got that before the panic buying started. Uh, right now I got my PS4, which I, technically is not mine, but I use it. Uh, and of course, more ammo and my, uh, also I keep next to me at all times, my Bowie knife. Can never be too prepared, right guys? Uh, this this 33 round magazine uh, does not feed reliably at all. As a matter of fact, it doesn't feed until the last 10 rounds. I had 25 failure failure to feed on with that magazine, so massive fail there. Uh, moving over here, this is my uh, whiteboard. That I I like whiteboards because they help me like plan stuff out and think a little bit better, help me do stuff, but I've not written anything on this whiteboard in a number a number of years. Many, many, many years. My sister drew this, one of my friends drew this. Um there's my when I was really into exercise. That's that's an estimate of what my personal best deadlift is. Uh most push ups I ever did was thirty five is that 175 bench? I don't know. I've never. I didn't. I wasn't using actual free weights, so it's sort of BS. Uh, held a plank for two minutes. I think I might have actually held a plank for a minute and a half. Uh, but I got my my pull-up bar over here. A fan. I think if I get too hot. Uh, right next to the door, I've got a tomahawk. And also right next to the door I have a a double bitted axe with a good luck Japanese charm that my sister got me. Uh I've got this is my miscellaneous rack where all my stuff goes. I got the whole one punch man series there. Uh ESV study Bible, MacArthur study Bible, ready to go. Got some extra guitar strings. My old Nintendo DS, which even has my name right on it. Uh, stockpile of deodorant. Never, never catch me smelling bad. Uh, some. What is that called? There's a yen. Ten. Ten yen. Cologne. Uh, a candle collection I got here. Candle collection. With all sorts of good scents, depending on the season. There's a more summery, midnight woods scent. Uh, some more seasonal peppermint and balsam and fur, or balsam fur scents. All sorts of good stuff. Uh, oh, also behind the door I have a spear. A spear that's locked with grip tape ready to go. Also another double bitted axe behind, uh, behind the door. And a pile of clothes. Now, this pile here, 
This bag is just pants that I put in a bag to go into the attic for the summer. And uh, more summer is behind us than ahead of us now, so I'm just going to leave it. I'm not going to take it up. But these are my work pants, pants I wear to work every day, or work shorts rather. Also my work pants. Uh, you know, you have different different shorts for every purpose. And these here, I've worn them already. They have one or two wears, but they're still clean. Same thing with this pair here that's on my bed right now. And this is where the magic happens. Of dreaming, of course, because that's all it is, is a dream. Uh, so my setup on my bed, I've got three blankets down here. Two blankets here, one blanket, uh, my body pillow, of course, to keep keep warm. Could probably change that sheet, honestly. Probably could. Uh, I was gonna like make my room all nice and stuff, but you know, some things never happen. Next to my bed, I've got my Fender amp. Uh, I've got an extra tissue box there to throw garbage in, and also my garbage can. Um, I've got a tissue box with tissues in it. My Game Boy Advance that I've got uh, Wario Land 4. My Nintendo 3DS there. And I bet you know what this is. Oh boy. Something dangerous. Yeah, it's a comb that I don't use. Yep. Yes, sir. And here I got an outside the waistband holder and an inside the waistband holder for uh, my my carry M&P 9C. Uh, is it loaded? Is it not? Well. F around and find out. Right, guys? Uh, also next to the bed, we have another another axe. Another axe right next to the bed, just in case. Just in case uh, the gun's not enough. have a hat on this hook here. Uh, in case you need a hat. And some garbage. And, of course, I have my blowtorch handy in case you ever need it. Blowtorch right there. Uh, behind here is a bunch of garbage and tax stuff. Uh, I've got some weights, an anvil down there if you can see it. A fan that I blow at the back of my computer if things get a little too hot. Air conditioner here. And my, my laundry bin. And, uh, I'll show you in the closet. Oh, actually, I'll show you the nightstand. So in the nightstand, we've got some hand sanitizer. You know, supplies running low nowadays. Uh, ear Pro. Make sure to always make sure to protect your ears. Some rope. A shoelace. Sharpening stone. Uh, a retainer. my atomic clock that will tell me the time and the date and that's the date I'm recording it on and it's a uh, it's a hot day and it's cooling down actually though feels good and the going into my closet I've got a few jackets and a few shirts that are you know that I've been wearing and Honestly, this floor has got to get cleaned. Seriously. Backpack. A sledgehammer. Another sledgehammer. Pickaxe. All sorts of clothes. More hats. More machetes. Axes. Knives and all sorts of stuff. Kukris. 
more some lighters some gear and you say to yourself hey why do you have enough enough equipment to supply a small army it's a surprise tool we'll use later but I think that's everything guys I think that's basically my room not a whole lot not not a whole lot uh, going on in here. You know, I'm just a simple guy. So, hope you enjoyed. Hope you enjoyed the room tour, unironically. So, subscribe. Ah, uh, you know, whatever. <laughs>